Today it was a day to say thank you to the Red Sox. Rightfully so. There were a lot of fans out there today. Yeah, yesterday New York fans had their chance to salute the world champion Mets. Today Boston fans paid tribute to the team that came within a hair of winning the championship, the Boston Red Sox. About three quarters of a million Red Sox fans turned out today in Boston to show their appreciation to the Sox. Many of them were at City Hall Plaza waiting for the Sox to arrive, while others lined up right? along the parade route uh, from Copley Square down Boylston Street to City Hall Plaza to catch a glimpse of their heroes. Now here come the Red Sox players, coaches, and management on their way to City Hall Plaza. Some players weren't there. Uh, Dwight Evans had knee surgery, arthroscopic on both knees, and Billy Buckner, he was there, but he'll have surgery tomorrow. One of the guys on hand waiting for the Red Sox to show up was Mayor Raymond Flynn. Big crowd anxiously uh, waited the Sox, hoping to see their guys come out. And a few minutes later, well, that fan was, didn't look too excited, but some of them were anyway. There they come. The Red Sox players uh, came out and uh, got ready to say hello and uh, bring that championship back to Boston. They hope to do that very, very soon. But I guarantee you, that will we dedicate ourselves, redouble our efforts to bring that trophy back to Boston one day soon in the near future. Them New York fans got no chance over you guys. You got no chance. You guys are the best. And I can't, this makes me so excited today that I can't wait for next year and I want to see you all right back here. And after seeing you out here today, we can't wait another 11 years. Maybe next year or the year after. Believe me, we're going to do it. Thank you. I just, I just want to thank all you fans. You guys are showing a lot of class, a lot more class than those New York fans. They couldn't get me to play in there. <laughs> they couldn't get me to play in that city for all the tea in China, I'll tell you that. You tell them, Marty. We have some baseball notes for you. Hal Lanier of the Houston Astros beat out John McNamara for AP manager. The guys over there. Uh, it's gonna help you. I hope you guys give them credit. Because uh, it's tough in Boston to get credit. Uh, I just hope you guys, like, go. Yeah. They were picked to finish fifth. And they took us to game seven. Don't worry, Bobby. They got their credit today. Baseball over for 1986? Not just yet. Time for another one of those goodwill tours of major leaguers to the Orient. And that means some practice sessions at Dodger Stadium before liftoff. Also means some reflections by players like the Angels' Wally Joyner. Still not resigned to the way his season and those of his teammates ended. I felt like uh, we were the better team. They just beat us uh, four out of seven. He knew scores. So it was tough to swallow, but it was enjoyable to see. Uh, you know, I don't wish it on anybody, but to see what happened to us happen to somebody else, it's a little bit easier to swallow and uh, I know what the Red Sox are going through now and it's going to take a while for them to get over it. And Wally, this is what you face next, baseball in Japan where the Cebu Lions reign after having defeated the Hiroshima Carp in their World Series, but will they play my favorite team, the <laughs> Nippon Ham Fighters? That's my question. I love those names. I'll Tayo Whales, Yakult Swallows. Yeah, this goes on and on. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> they take it seriously. Hey, then. Today, tens of thousands of die-hard Red Sox fans line the streets of Boston to show their appreciation for what the home team has meant to them. Ted Lancaster was in Boston for the festivities, and he tells us that although the Red Sox didn't win the World Series, it didn't appear to dampen any of the enthusiasm. It was a last hurrah for the American League champions, the official end to an unforgettable season. Young and old alike lined the parade route. After all, today, everybody was a member of the team and most found it in their hearts to put their disappointment behind them. They're still number one in my book, no matter what. I still think they're wonderful. They're our team. Once a Red Sox fan, always a Red Sox fan. Mm, you bet. The crowd, numbering about a million, roared as each team member was introduced. The players were visibly moved. Seeing all you people here today, you don't know what it means. This is the greatest thrill of the year, no question. And we can't wait to come back here next October let me tell you something else. They may have our trophy, but they can keep the Big Apple. We want it right here in Boston where it belongs.
think there, there's a sign out there I, I read on the way. The Mets think they're in heaven, but the Red Sox are going to be back in 87. Thanks a lot. We're going to be back next year, believe me. Thank you. Boston's boys of summer may not have grabbed all of the marbles this year, but if anything was made clear today, it was that New Englanders still love their Red Sox. In Boston, Ken Lancaster. Series go. Played a, uh, you know, good defensively for seven games. I made one error. Uh, Keith Hernandez is supposed to be one of the uh, better first basemen in the league, and uh, I think I did a, as good a job or better than he did. Uh, he made a couple bad plays also. Uh, and lost the ball game. What do you do now to try to kind of wipe this thing away? If, if you do anything, do you take off, uh, go to the beach for a couple weeks and try to forget it, or what happens now? I don't know. If I was near a beach, I'd grab a, a case of beer, go out and drink it till it was all gone. Across the hall, the triumphant Mets locker room, the talk turned to the turning point of the series, and the players were crediting Davey Johnson for making the decision of the series. Giving us the off day after we lost two straight at home, and he was set up for major second guess. All right, the Whalers knocked off the best team in hockey to date. This gave their fans plenty of excitement in 1986, and today was the day New Englanders said thank you. Yes, they sure did. Well, the players were trucked through the streets to the delight of fans in the city of Boston. No doubt they think their team is as good as the Mets, even though they didn't get as far. Police estimate three-quarters of a million people. Per, per, yeah, we're at the parade route today. The parade made its way to City Hall Plaza, past signs that read, We love you, socks, and you did good, Red Sox. Not everybody has good grammar. Many of those on hand took an early lunch hour or just played hooky from work, or just to be part of this big rally today. Lots of people out, as you see. The players took to the podium, made it clear they were grateful for the turnout today. Roger Clemens, Jim Rice, Billy Buckner, many on hand. A couple who couldn't make it. Uh, Dwight Evans had arthroscopic knee surgery, and uh, in fact, he had it on both knees. So a uh, number of guys just not able to make it today. But uh, all in all, a good day had at... Uh, Boston, and uh, there's Jim Rice looking for a championship, maybe next, maybe next year. The Len Bias cocaine case has claimed another casualty. Maryland basketball coach Lefty Drizel has stepped down under pressure from the administration at the school. Disappointment, but to look at City Hall this noon, you couldn't tell the Sox were returning home without the championship trophy. A massive outpouring of love and emotion for the Sox by their fans, and even though the postseason belonged to those guys with all the ticker tape on their shoulders, the Sox still own New England. Mayor Flynn, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a wonderful turnout for this great team. Sometimes the Sox have their fans at wit's end, and in Boston they let you know about it, but when all is said and done, the love affair rocks solid both ways. Them New York fans got no chance over you guys. They got no chance. You guys are the best, and I can't, this makes me so excited today that I can't wait for next year, and I want to see you all right back here. For the players and their followers, a short winter rather than the long one that is supposed to come with losing three months, and pitchers and catchers will be in Winter Haven looking to take another run at the title. The San Diego... But for Betzold, the sweet smell of victory didn't come without some nail-biting of his own. So I guess I was on edge, edge for the uh, uh, whole game on and off till it went off for the whole series was on and on edge. What happens if uh, if the Mets lost? How'd you be feeling about that? Uh, well, they're worried about how much you weighed. Some Red Sox fans have had to eat their hats because of crazy bets like the wheelbarrow ride, but Red Sox fans like to see their team get their due. To me, win or lose, the Red Sox are number one. In Northampton, Tom Pollard, New Center 22. Right, Tom. <laughs> the two high-stakes gamblers have decided. Red Sox. The Red